What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you a victory in under 19 turns on a mortal difficulty. So it's a domination victory. So first things first, I'm going to pick my leader and obviously I'm going to go for Gilgamesh just because have you seen the size of his muscles? That alone should make you pick him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a dual type map and it's going to be on online speed because it's the fastest. Uh, difficulty is going to be immortal and um, map size as I said is dual. And yeah, we're ready to go. So. Let's get it going. Look at, look at this man, he's an absolute beast, he's an absolute animal. Why would you not want to pick him? So, we're going to be Gilgamesh and the first thing we want to do is settle our city. So as you can see, the game speed here is quite fast. I'm moving my warrior out just for a bit of scouting. Again, I picked the war card. So I'm only going to <laughs> create one thing in this game and that's going to be the war card. So these donkeys are going to do serious damage for me. So I'm scouting with my warrior and it's basically just to find out who this other civilization will be. Found a barbarian scout and a barbarian encampment. But yeah, so <laughs> the aim of the game is basically to find out where this other civilization is and then just to take it out. We're playing a mortal difficulty, so it is going to probably have more troops than us, but the Sumerian army is quite good as the war cart is quite a strong early unit. So as you can see, I'm just researching random things, it doesn't really matter. Uh, my culture, I'm just picking random things as well. So we've got our first war cart, so we're going to keep exploring and seeing where this civilization is hiding out at. So still no luck and we're going to keep going. So I'm going to keep dealing with this barbarian encampment. One of the Sumerians uh, special traits is if you, you uh, take a barbarian encampment you also get the equivalent of finding a goodie hut. So that's quite good. And then we finally meet who our other civilization is going to be and it's going to be Gandhi. So Gandhi likes peace. He doesn't really like to warmonger which is kind of good because we want to warmonger with him. So as I can see I find that he must have two cities because this city is obviously not his capital but at least now we know the rough general direction of whereabouts he's at so we keep going we get code of laws here i just picked the plus five against barbarians the fair as if it's the strongest and then plus one production with capitals because i just want to keep building war cards so there were straightforward enough decisions and as you can see i take this barbarian encampment and then i'm going to start working everybody else down towards india so again, I keep. If you're wondering why I picked different civilization or different uh, techs or different civics, I literally wasn't even thinking. I was just trying to do it as quick as possible because I knew it was a race against time. I didn't want to have time to get walls up, and I didn't want times that is like borders. You had to declare an official war. So it was basically trying to do everything as fast as possible. This game isn't sped up. This is just me playing a normal pace. So and as you can see, I get my second war card, and it's going to make its way down as well. So now I'm basically looking for the capital and I see that he has second city so I guess that it must be his capital and then I've got another war card on its way. So this is quite, me personally I like playing Civ, I like playing like at a fast pace. I do play normal games at normal speeds, at a mortal difficulty and yes they're quite fun but I found that Civ 6 feels to me early yet that it feels as if it's taking a wee bit longer than Civ 5 which is fine, it's just for me I, have a, I like playing with a quick play style so Especially towards the later rounds, the turn time, just waiting on the clock to go, seems to take that wee bit longer. But as you can see, we're still making our way down, and we've got no war cards. So I think we've got three war cards, and of course, we're just going to keep... So we only build one unit this whole time. So if anybody you want to try it, I literally just built the one unit, and I didn't care about anything else. Everything else was just finding out whereabouts the city was. So here, I've just found the capital of Sumden on for you. So we've now found it. So now it's about getting my units down in round him and basically declaring war. Don't give him time to sort of realise that, you know, what I'm up to. But as you can see here, he sort of gets a fair idea what I'm starting to do. So he asks, will I move my troops away? I just ignored this request. So I was tempted to declare war there and then, but I just didn't think I had everybody ready yet. So I wanted to move a couple more people up and to sort of surround it a bit better. So as you can see, I've now got it well surrounded. So I think I declare war shortly. The warrior, I just sort of keep moving him down and across. It was more just to annoy, just to keep him occupied and sort of throw him off the scent a bit. So, as my warriors in this sort of other city of uh, Gandhi's, I wouldn't take him too serious. So now I'm actually going to declare war. So, no, sorry, not yet. Um, I'm still waiting, I'm still biding my time, but it's going to happen shortly. So, uh, now I believe that I start that I do declare war and as you can see Gandhi isn't happy <laughs> like I'm crying there as well but 
So I'm now declared war, so now the thing is to hit get hits on the city. Don't worry about troops, just we're trying to take out the city because these workers can do quite a bit of damage if there's no walls up in place. So we're already got well weakened, and as I say, this warrior is just to just sort of to keep him distracted and hopefully that he sends troops his way. So we keep moving this other worker down. And again, now I'm picking civics, it was just a random choice, there's no thought behind it at all. So his turn, he, again he's hitting, <laughs> he's hitting at my warrior. And I actually, I think, so I keep, as I say, just keep hitting the city, don't worry about his warriors or anything else. Our main focus is just to take out the city, because if we lose a unit to, if we kill a warrior, it's just, it's just going to slow down our overall progress. So we've got another work card, so we're just constantly, we're just moving everything down towards his capital, not giving him respite, and we're, of course, what are we going to build? Another work card. So, that's basically the strategy, if any of you want to try it. I do believe it is quite straightforward, it doesn't, you don't have to be the best civ player in the world to do this. It's quite fun if you want to try and beat the game in a mortal difficulty. So, we keep going, he's hitting me pretty hard now. So, we're going to keep going. This warrior is still living, I don't know how, he must only have about one HP. So this war card hits the city again and then it also it actually died so that was fine and then I believe does this one, so it also survives which is very good because you just you want as many units as possible just to keep him busy and uh, we've got this other one still to come down. So at this stage I think Gandhi knows he's in a bit of trouble. He kills one of my war cards and does he kill that warrior? No, so the warrior still somehow is living. So we weaken it a fair bit again, so it looks as if like, one more hit should do it. But I wasn't sure whether this war card would have enough uh, life let yet or not. I was bringing this other war card down, but as you can see a barbarian encampment just spawned. So I wouldn't didn't want to take it too near so it'd like stop the stone of entrance. And then finally I seen that this would take the city. And there it is, so there's a quick domination victory in 18 turns, so under 19 turns I got the domination victory, crazy, on a mortal difficulty. So if any of you want to try it, make sure and do, it was really fun, it's really quick as well. And yeah, that's been everything, I've been destroyed, I'm so happy, so glad you watched this. And if you want, make sure and subscribe, there'll be plenty more cool Civ 6 videos, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.